Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on no man's land. It is the 11th day in late autumn. The year is coming to an end. Things are going great on the farm, of course. They always are. I'm refueling the tractor here. Gotta get gotta put some fuel in the fence. It's running kind of low. And then we're gonna head down to Jamberry's place. I'll show you something. A little something he's working on. We're gonna talk about uh, change to the server. We're gonna talk about um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're just we're just gonna talk and, and have fun and no. Uh, we, we have plans. There's things that need to do. I got I to gotta do some harvesting. That's going to get done in this episode. I got to get the rest of the soybeans harvested. I need to get all those brought in. Um, but first, before we do that, I need to pick up some wheat for Jamberry. He needs 30. Well, I already delivered 21,000 liters. And he, uh, he purchased 50,000 liters from me. And once we get down there, I will show you why pulling here to the pulling here this way uh, let's see is it alt L, yep fill unit 29,000 okay there we go we're, we're gonna pull the weed out he's paying paying me a pretty good price for this not top top price but a good price it's a good price all the same pull that out get this to fill up our good old handy dandy wagon but he's in a new business you know Jamberry he sold us all the cows so all the cows are now mine well mine I think lag weasel has cows too pretty sure lag weasel has cows um, but he sold me all of his cows and he's been remodeling and kind of redoing his business pull through here this is a heavy heavy load Driving through town. This is the updated version of Alien Jim's map. This is the new one with all the new placeables. I haven't had time to put really put anything down. I've just been farming, been working on the farm, taking care of the cows. Speaking of cows, pull up the animal menu real quick to kind of bring you up to date on what we have. Um, 164 adult cows. 164. Some of those are young. Um, I moved a few. I gotta move these calves. I got some calves in here still, it looks like. But I moved the 700 pounders over to the main lot. Like these that are seven, one and a half years old. One point, I moved all those over to the main pen because I was starting to run out of room in the calf pen. So that's what's going on with that. Things are. Just moving along. It's my favorite map to play on. I, I love just coming on here and hanging out. Got a bunch of people here working. Looks like Village is over there in his field. Yep. Looks like he's doing some bailing by the look of it. Yeah, all the, everybody's got some winter crops put in. I've been planting wheat. Some winter wheat. Here and there. Oh. You can already see, what is that big giant building? Yep, his little field is gone, and now he has this big industrial building. Here's the beach greenhouse, still the same. Then when we pull in here, oh, here comes Jamberry. This is his new yard. You can see the pellet warehouse over there that he's got going on. And that fancy thing right there is a seed cleaner. So he is making seed uh, for the map. That's what he's doing. Let me, um, this thing's going to be fun to back in with the dolly trailer. I do. I do have some wheat for you. Um, yeah, let me see if I can do this. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the dolly trailers, uh, but this one was pretty cheap, so that's why we went with it. So let me, um, yeah. 
me do this. Just kind of get it whipped around here. There we go. And then just short. Short little... See, pro. Pro gamer. You guys are watching it live. I need to talk because I'm like... I'm, I'm concentrating, concentrating. Look at that! <laughs> Alright, we got a tip side back. Nice. Nice pro gamer. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we are selling him wheat. If I don't hit the door. Oh, no. Kind of have to feather it here. At the top so we don't hit the door. That's not going to work. <laughs> I need a belly dump. But I, I've learned the trick. You let these kind of come all the way back down. And then we'll start unloading again. Alright, there we go. You kind of have to reset it. It just takes a little time. I wish that these had a... Uh, like a stop. Where you could... You can manually raise the trailer. I think that'd be pretty cool. If you could do that. Alright, one more time and we should get this emptied. One more time. There we go. That should do it. Thousand. There, boom. Shut my engine off here. There it is. Another 29,000. So this is GTX... Uh, GTX is seed cleaner right here I like the holding bin for the, the seeds and if you watch every now and then they'll kind of drop in uh, there's a kind of a smoke animation that comes out right there as the cleaner is running and you have um, you know fancy light but this is pretty cool you have to put this liquid tank on here this Cortiva, the Lumagen. And then I guess what it does is it coats the seed with the Lumagen and it comes out. That's it. That's how that works. But he's really changed his, his enterprise. He's changed up a lot here. On, uh, on his area. You can see he's got this big warehouse building here. Oh, yes. Can I put my order in? <laughs> I already ordered 10,000 liters of seed and I'm going to need it because we're planting a lot of wheat and I only have I only have like a couple thousand liters left in my silo. It's got 14,000 ready. It's got this big fancy dancy thing too. All kinds of good stuff here. Let's go over here. It's got all these... This Everything's kind of lined up nice and pretty. He's got this new Mercedes-Benz Agrar truck. Uh, what kind of seeds would I like? Uh, wheat. Corn. We're just playing around. <laughs> oh, oh, this looks good with the lean-to here. Nice little change. Then here's this fancy-dancy pellet haul. Fancy-dancy pellet haul here. So he, he had paid off his entire loan, and now he's 500000 in debt again. But he's, he's kind of converted it more from a farm to like an... Like an industrial area. And I really, really like it. Really, really like it. Uh, I 
Yeah, this stuff, this is really cool. This is a great mod by GTX. Definitely worth checking out. If, if, uh, just really, really cool. Because you don't just dump something in and get it out. You have to actually have to go into the shop and buy these pallets of this, uh, where is it at? Should be Lumigen here somewhere. Right there. You have to buy this Lumigen. It's twenty eight fifty for the seed cleaner. Pretty cool. All right. We will say goodbye to Jamberry and jump back in the tractor here. Swing around. So we're going to head <laughs> I will um, what I'm going to do is we're going to start harvesting soybeans that's what we need to do next now that the seeds are on the way we need to uh, get some soybeans harvested that was the last of the 50000 that I owed him. Um, he already paid me. Everything's been paid for, all that good stuff. But what I'm going to do is run down to the farm, grab my other tipper. That way we have both tippers and a train. Head up to our soybean fields. And I'm going to introduce you to somebody new on the server. I'll be right back. All right, we are back up at nostalgic acres and the name of the farm has changed that's right nostalgic is has taken a break uh, he uh he stepped away from the server and uh, he has graciously uh turned over his farm to another player another he you know put it up for sale and someone else has purchased it we're gonna sneak over here and see if we can surprise him and then we'll say hi to him oh he's got it's already expanded over here. Got some hay on the ground. Let's see if we can find him somewhere. I know he's up here somewhere. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> wow, look. He's way up here. <laughs> way up on top of that hill. That's where he's at. Let's see if we can get up there. see what he's working on up here there's no telling I'm, I'm excited to see I'm excited to see what's what he what's going on everyone I would like to introduce Aya Roadkill there he is that's our new player new player Aya Roadkill uh, we had a spot come open and uh, he was he was first on the list to get into the server so I just wanted to come up and say hi He uh, must be clearing plenty of trees up here. Oh my! Making all kinds. He's he, he's he's making all kinds of money. So he, how this works is, uh, like I said, nostalgic has uh, has left, and now we are joined by Aya. Uh, Aya Roadkill. We'll just call him Roadkill. I need to come up with a shorter name for him. We'll just call we'll just call him Mr. Roadkill. That's what we're gonna call. Him. <laughs> but uh, if you don't know, he does have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can check out his YouTube channel at the link down in the description. He'll, he'll, it'll be provided down below in the description, and uh, you can check his YouTube channel out there. He does some pretty pretty cool stuff. He is new to PC. So he, this is kind of his first uh, multiplayer experience on PC, and I hope he is enjoying it. All right, let's get back to work. 
Well, thanks. <laughs> Introduce you to the viewers. There he is. All right. So he is now, like I said, he has taken over uh, Nostalgic Acres and has already bought two plots of land. Uh, as you remember, only had four. So he's expanding rapidly. Uh, it is now Roadkill Ranch is the name of the farm, Roadkill Ranch, which I love. I love Roadkill Ranch. I think it's a great name. But what we got to do up here is now that he's the owner of the land, I really got to get my soybeans off of the leased property. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Do, do, do. As we drive back this way. All right, I'm going to head back to the harvester, get set up, and we're going to get to work. I'll talk to you then. The, the whole time I'm driving around and I'm, I'm delivering wheat, and we're talking to Jamberry, and we're, we're introducing to Mr. Roadkill, our, our new member on this server, I never even once looked up at the top of the screen where it shows wet crops. That's right, the crop moisture is, unfortunately, um, come on, work is at 23 percent so we're not going to be able to thresh it until it gets down to 20 percent i'm pretty sure it's 20 percent which shouldn't take too long because it is sunny and there's some wind um but it's cold the temperature is cold so we're going to have to wait for the dew to burn off the crops before we can harvest it unfortunately that is um that's farming right like we can't we can't uh we can't turn all the soybeans into mush we don't want them to we want them to be dried down a little bit but it shouldn't be a problem once the dew comes off we should be all right and we will be able to get to work in the meantime i think what i'm going to be doing is uh, i'll just be down here working on the farm kind of slowly getting the winter wheat put in uh, i gotta do some animal care although i think the animals are pretty good yeah, they're pretty good. I got 114,000 liters of milk, but the milk price is kind of just right around $700. It's not, that's not great. Uh, yep, so we're just kind of in a holding pattern right now until the crops, crops dry up. And when they do, we'll get to work and I'll see you then. Talk to you in just a minute. All right. Jamberry called me and said my seeds are ready, so he is on his way. So we came back to the farm to uh, facilitate the delivery of seeds. So when he gets here, we'll take those. The greenhouses are in their last stretch of... Uh... Oh, there he is. There he is. I was about to say, it's the last time these will be running. Uh, once it gets too cold, they can't run. Over here... And I think what we'll do is I'm going to see if he can just uh, offload those right into there. I wonder if they can. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, he's got this fancy Unverfirth. Oh, yeah. Look at that fancy machine. Look at that. You know what this means this is like a, like a screenshot time yep there it is taking delivery taking delivery of the seeds <laughs> heck yeah guaranteed to grow Uh, that must be one. Oh, gotta switch to the other hopper. I haven't really used the unfer under un unverfirth. I can't talk. I haven't used the unverfirth too much in game, um, so I'm happy kind of to see somebody using it. I used it when the uh, FS19 first came out. Man, almost two years ago now. Can you believe it's all just been two years since this game has been out? But yeah, here we go. that that worked out great right into the silo 
But I love it. I love that he was able to expand his operations, and now he uh, he has even more services to offer the farmers. He has the seeds. Uh, you know, I'll have 2K ready in one day. Okay. Pleasure doing business. I can't spell. <laughs> there we go. All right. And away we go. Look, he, he's even got a fancy pickup. He goes all in. And I, that's what I love about Jamberry, man. When he when he when he wants to role play something, he goes all in. You know, so he's he's kinda of role playing or his business is agri-slurry. Agri slurry and uh, farm services. Kind of provides all the services to the other farmers. Which is really really, really nice. But yeah, seeds are delivered. We're still waiting for the dew to come off the crops and we'll get to harvesting. As soon as that happens, I will be back to talk with you. Well, the crops are still not dry. It is after 9 a.m. And I, I don't think they're going to dry out for a couple hours. And due to co time constraints in real life, I'm just going to finish the episode with a video montage of me plowing and finishing planting of the winter wheat. I have all those fields up there planted. I'll go ahead and show you. I'll pull it up. Uh, we have wheat here, here, here. I extended this grass field out here. Uh, so this is one big long grass field. I have this field left and this field. So this is going to be all wheat here. We have hay, our hay fields, and then we're going to plant this in corn in the spring. Then, uh, yeah, should be pretty good. So that, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, take a couple minutes, put a really nice montage together of some plowing and planting, and we'll finish it, the episode with that. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm uh, over 1,800 subscribers now. I can't believe it. The last time I checked, it was like 1,860-something. I'm just amazed every day when I look at the subscriber count. Um, and uh, it's all because of you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for your likes, your comments, uh, your suggestions, and all your support. All right. I hope you enjoyed the last little bit of the video. And until next time, stay safe. See you later. later.